Hi everyone, Rad Drew here. Today I'm going to um, share with you a little feature of um, Lightroom Mobile that I think is really, really cool. Um, not long ago I did a tutorial about how to leave a splash of color um, in a black and white image using the masking feature in Snapseed. Um, and that's one way to do that, uh, leave that, that uh, splash of color. But there's another way in Lightroom that I think is e easier and it leaves a better result. So I'm going to go into Lightroom now, but there are basically two parts to what I'm going to share. One is how to create a preset so that you, you basically create a preset that removes all the color from an image. So the next time you bring a color image, you can uh, hit that preset and, and remove all the color from it. And then you can go to the second part of what I'm going to share, which is how to put back some of the color that you want to leave in the image. So let's just go to um, Lightroom and open it up. And these are my albums and folders here. And down here I have one called Splash of Colors. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to pop that open. And here's my, my image that I want to work with today. Now this is an image taken uh, with the iPhone and I've already processed it and I've saturated it and I've got the color all real, you know, prominent and everything. Um, but now what I want to do is um, remove all the color from it. So um, I've already done a preset for that, but I'm going to show you how to do a preset. So what, what you're going to do for that is you're going to process the image the way you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go here to the color tool and I'm going to tap the little mix button here and I'm going to start with red. Notice the color um, uh, circles there. I'm going to start with the red one and I'm going to take the saturation down to zero. Then I'm going to tap on the orange one and I'm going to take the saturation down to zero. And I'm going to do this for each of the colors in the spectrum. So as I take them down, you can see them disappearing from the image until it appears black and white. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap done here. And so there's our image now with the color stripped out of it. So now I want to I want to save that as a preset. So the next time I bring a color image in, I can just hit that preset and I don't have to go through that desaturating each color slider thing. So for to create the preset up in the upper right hand corner here, um, you'll see an ellipse, three dots there. I'm going to tap on that and down below one of the options is create preset. So I'm going to tap on create preset and it's going to let me make a name for it so I'm just going to call it um, I'll call it no color and um, and that's that's it so tap on that and there now we have a preset in um, in our preset section now that we can use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and reset this image to color again by tapping this little reset button down here and saying, hey, reset everything. So now we're back to our image, um, fully color. And now I'm going to slide over to my presets here. And I'm going to go down and look for the one that I just made called no color. You can see it right down here. I'm going to tap on that. and it stripped all the color out of the image. So now I'll click the check mark to accept that. And now what I want to do is add the blue of the car back in. So I'm going to go over here to color and I am going to tap on the mix button here. And I'm going to go first to um, this dark blue right here. I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to bring the saturation slider up and look, by selecting that one color, I'm able to bring up the saturation in the in the image. Now you'll notice that um, at the top, there, it's picking up that blue sky too. So it will pick up the blue throughout an image. Um, if you wanted, you could take this into the selective tool, um, and and we can take that out. And I'll do that in a second. So so there we go. There's our image and. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now I want to use the masking feature in Lightroom. Now, um, masking is over here in where it says selective, basically. That's what you're doing in there is masking. 
this is um, only going to be available to you if you have the paid version of Lightroom. When you get the free version, there are three tools that you don't have. One is selective, one is healing, and the other is geometry. Um, if you don't have this tool, save this out to Snapseed and do the work there. You can do it just as well there using the masking feature. But if you have the selective, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tap on that, I'm going to hit the plus to bring up my tools, and I'm going to select a brush, and I'm going to choose the second brush with kind of a soft edge, and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint in that sky area. And then I'm going to go down to um, my color button here. And I'm just going to bring the saturation down to zero. And you notice when I do that, I've eliminated the blue now from the sky, but I've kept it in the car where I want it. Now, the other thing that I want to do here, um, I don't know if you remember the original image, but these little running lights on the side of the car are bright orange. And I kind of like that, um, that added pop of contrast. So. What I'm going to do, I'm still in my selective um, tool, so I'm going to tap the uh, brush tool again. I'm going to choose the brush, and I'm going to choose the second one down, this one right here. Let's see. There we go. Right there. And now I'm going to come in. Now, I'm using a stylus for this. I found a really nice fine point stylus, and I'm, I'm using this, and I'm going to come in here with the stylus and I am going to just kind of color in that little um, orange light. Now, what you're seeing on there is that um, the that red dot that I have selected is bigger than the um, area I'm coloring in. So now I've just tapped those two little areas right there, and now I'm going to go back to my color tool down here at the bottom select that and then I'm going to go and bring my saturation up and as I do there's my there's my little orange um, running lights that's it I'm going to click the check mark so now I've got my image with all the color in it that I want um, that's it create a preset remove the color go into the color tool uh, brush the color back in and then if you need to do some masking, go use the selective tool and wrap it up there. That's it. Thanks a lot for, for listening. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and um, hope to uh, see you online again soon. Until then, keep on creating.